Domino's Pizza should be a familiar brand to you. But do you know that the company has also been a great stock to own as well? As the leading quick service restaurant in the pizza category, Domino's Pizza has rallied close to 3,000% since the year 2004. $1,000 of investment would be worth more than $31,000 in value today. So what exactly is the secret sauce to its success? Hi guys, Stanley here. I'm the co-founder of ValueInvestAsia.com, an investment portal where we'll give you investment news and in-depth analysis on listed company every single week. So if you are new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so you'll not miss out on any of our new videos. Now, let's slice up the business model of Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza is listed on the New York Stock Exchange. You can also find other Domino's Pizza franchisees that are listed in areas like Australia and the UK. But the main company, Domino's Pizza, has derived its revenue from three key categories. Royalty fees that it charge its franchisees, number two, providing supply chain services to its restaurant, and number three, franchisees advertising. Most of Domino's restaurants are now franchise outlet, so the company has very little capital outlay requirement. The company spent only about $88 million in capital expenditure in the year 2020, while generating about $590 million in operating cash flow. This capital light business model means that most of the company cash flow from operation can be returned to shareholders either through share buyback or dividends, which the company has been doing very aggressively. Domino's also has a steady track record of growing its business. Its same store sales in the US alone has increased on an average pace of around 7.4% a year for the past decade. On top of that, the same store sales of its international store is also growing, albeit at a slower rate of 5.4% a year at the same period. In addition, the number of Domino's stores has grown over the years as well. Today, there are over 18,000 stores in more than 90 markets worldwide. Net store numbers increase more than 1,000 a year from 2016 to 2019. The company even grew its net store number by over 600 during the 2020 pandemic. All these translate into very healthy revenue growth for Domino's. Today, Domino's is the number one brand in the quick serve restaurant pizza segment with an estimate market share of about 17% globally. The COVID-19 pandemic has also demonstrated the resilience of Domino's business. Its US business recorded a same store sales growth of around 11.5% in the year 2020. Its US retail sales even increased by 70% from 7 billion to 8.3 billion by 2020, all thanks to its delivery business model. Internationally, Domino's business has performed well as well. The international business recorded same store sales of around 4.4% in 2020, and the retail sales grew by 7.5% to 7.8 billion in 2020. These are impressive figures and highlights the resilience of Domino's business model, even at such difficult environment. Yet the growth for Domino's is far from over. Domino's currently has around 6,400 stores in the US and close to 12,000 stores internationally. The company believes that the US market can accommodate around 8,000 stores. This means that Domino's can open another 1,500 stores in the US alone. On top of that, its 15th largest international market has the potential for another 6,500 more stores. Domino's is expecting good growth coming from markets like the UK, Australia, Japan, and India. Domino's is targeting to have around 25,000 stores worldwide with a global retail sales of 25 billion by the year 2025. That indicates around a 7 to 10% growth a year. Even though Domino's has a fairly simple business model and is highly duplicatable, it is not perfect though. One aspect of its financial status might scare off some investors. This is because it currently has negative equity of more than 4 billion to its shareholders. This is because the company has been aggressively returning cash to shareholders year after year. It is tapping aggressively into the debt market to finance both share buybacks and dividend. Management believe that its resilient business model, its steady free cash flow and capital-like business enable it to function very well with leverage. That is why the company is now financed fully with debt. While that might be the case, 
it can still be quite risky as the company's fate is completely in the hands of its debt holder. In the last quarter, Domino's only has around 100 million in cash while having a 5.3 billion debt. And that amounts to about negative shareholder equities of 4.1 billion. So business must continue to run smoothly to avoid any liquidity crunch. At the end of the day, Domino's Pizza is a great business. It has a strong track record of growth and still room to grow into. On top of that, its capital light and resilient business model enables the company to continuously reward shareholders with dividends and share buyback. So the company has returned about $4.8 billion in share purchase and dividends from the year 2012 to 2020. And the stock has also performed very well, generating about a 2,700% return to shareholders over the same period. So what do you guys think of Domino's Pizza? Is the risk of high debt still worth an investment in the company? Share your thoughts with us below. If you've gotten value from the video, I hope you give us a like and share it with a friend who you might think will benefit from it as well. If you're ready to take the next step into investing, you can also check out our free investing course at valueinvestasia.com slash free course. As always, my name is Stanley. Till we meet again, invest safely.